I would that the friends we missed were safe arrived. Some must go off, and yet by these I see so great a day as this is cheaply bought. Macduff is missing, and so is your noble son. Your son, my lord, he's paid a soldier's debt. The which no sooner uh, had he was till a man in the unshrinking station where he fought like a man. and brought off the field. Your cause of sorrow must not be measured by his worth, for then it hath no end. Had he his hurts before? Aye, on the front. Why then, God's soldier, be he? Had I as many sons as I have hairs, I would not wish them to a fairer death. And so his nail is null. He's worth more sorrow, and that I'll spend for him. He's worth no more. They say he parted well and paid his score. And so God be with him. Here comes newer comfort. Why should I play the Roman fool and die upon my own sword? Why see the lives the gases do better upon them? Turn, hellhelm, turn! Get thee back, for my soul is stained with the blood of thine too much already. I have no words, but my voice is my sword! Thou blood of your villain, then turns can give thee out! thy charm, and let the angel whom thou still hast served tell thee Macduff was from his mother's womb, untimely ripped! <laughs> Accursed be the tongue that tells me so, for I have cowed my better part of man, and be these juggling thieves no more believe that palter with us in a double sense, that keep the word of promise to our ear and break it up our hope. I will not fight with thee. Then yield thee, coward! And live to be the show and gaze of the time. We'll have thee as our rarer monsters are painted upon a pole and under writ. Here may you see the tyrant. I will not yield. Kiss the ground before Malcolm's feet, and be so baited with the noble's curse. Through Beerman Wood become the doomsday, and now opposed, being of no woman born. Yet I will not try the last, for my body I throw, my warlike shield lay on Macduff, and be damned to him that first cry is hold enough. Salutation in their minds, where voices I desire, aloud with mine. Hail, Queen of Scotland! Hail, Queen of Scotland! 
We shall not spend a large expense of time before we reckon with your several loves and make us even with you. My thanes and kingsmen, henceforth be earls, the first that ever Scotland in such an honor named. What's more to do, which would be planted newly with the time, as calling home our exiled friends abroad, that fled the snares of watchful tyranny, producing forth the cruel ministers of this death, butcher and his fiend-like queen, who, as tis thought by self and violent hands, took off her life, this and what needful else, that calls upon us by the grace of grace, we will perform in measure, time, and place. So thanks to all, at once and to each one, whom we invite to see us crowned at Scone. <laughs>